Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my home in Waxahachie, Texas. Today is part two of our three-part series on different ways to cook brisket. Today, we're gonna to be showing the differences in smoking a brisket meat up versus fat up. Stick around. So part one of the brisket series, we showed you guys the differences in wrapping your brisket in butcher paper versus wrapping in foil. Uh, again, today we're gonna be showing you how to smoke a brisket meat up versus one that's fat up and show you those differences. Here in Texas, the traditional way is to smoke a brisket fat side up. And so I thought I would bring in one of my buddies, Joe Zavala from Zavala's Barbecue in Grand Prairie. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. I'm really excited about this one. I am too. I know this, uh, this is going to showcase something that you don't normally have to do. And you're a guy that has mentored at a Texas Monthly Top 5 barbecue joint, so I know you definitely cook these fat side up, but what do you know about cooking on meat side up? Blows my mind. This is probably the question I get asked every single time. Really? Yes. Like, every time, like, did you cook that uh, fat side up or fat side down? I'm like, what? Like, I didn't even know there's two ways to do it, yeah. but I'm really interested because all the research, I really want to get into competition, and it seems like you cook it me side up, is that right? Yeah, and that's the background I came from originally. Uh, a lot of people that teach barbecue, they come from the competition world and they cook meat side up. And the reason that is it presents better when you slice that brisket that you've cooked meat side up, it often leaves a pretty pronounced smoke ring. It looks really sexy in a turn-in box. Okay, so that makes sense. So that's why when people see my fatty side they're like where's the smoke ring it's because right. you don't have the penetration i can't stand when i see on social media someone post some brisket and go didn't even have a smoke ring i mean you can't even taste the smoke ring yeah that's true so i guess judges in competition really don't want that fatty uh, side at yeah, all yeah right? you exactly in fact in texas you have to cook it meat side up that became a thing a couple years ago so and and we'll show that these have to be cooked a little bit different like they're gonna look different visually um you know, and for this cook, just like all of our tests, we've cooked 44 farms briskets that are at the wrap stage. So we need to go get some butcher paper and we need to get these wrapped. Sounds great. If you guys missed the first part of this series, here's how we've set this experiment up. We started out with six 44 farms briskets, two for each part of the series, all trimmed exactly the same, all seasoned simply with Meat Church Holy Cow. They smoked overnight, nine hours at 250 degrees, and they're all at the wrap stage right now. Quick question though. Where did you get this Cadillac hat? <laughs> this is beautiful. Mill scale, thanks man. Uh, definitely a dream rig. This is actually the first cook on this pit. No, it's not. Yeah, Matt and Caleb said, what are you, uh, what are you gonna cook first? And I said, ain't gonna be pulled pork. <laughs> so let's get these beauties out. Um, this is the meat side up brisket and Joe has the fat side up brisket and we're gonna wrap them the same way. But you can see a pretty major visual difference. Um, the meat side up brisket you know, you can see which way the muscle fibers are running. Um, I mean, the good thing about this, when you go to slice it, you would know that you need to slice this direction against the grain, which is a great um, tip for a competition guy. Competition guys could take this brisket with their electric knife and slice like this. By the way, I know you don't do electric knife probably, but they do it in comp because- Hey, the number one place in Texas does it. Yeah, I ain't mad about it. It makes it easy to cut um, a hot brisket without falling apart, that's for sure. So let's get these wrapped up. We're gonna wrap them the same. We're wrapping in unwaxed butcher paper that we've spritzed with cider vinegar just to make the paper more pliable. That's gonna be real simple. We're gonna tuck hey, it under. Let me ask a question. With the meat side being up, would that be good for like anybody doing like a Kamado Joe or a big green egg, anything with direct heat? Or is that just all a myth also? Man, that's a, that's a great question. I think that's kind of, you know, one of the things we're gonna kind of test today. I know we're cooking on an offset, but um, I see so many people on social media cooking meat side up and it's a lot of guys that have pellet grills you know Kamado style grills and um, and they you know they claim they're doing it because the heat source is in the bottom however you know I have obviously lots of Traegers and uh, I still like to cook mine fat side up because I'm just trying to be traditional okay. but you do have to figure out where the heat is some people think the fat underneath uh, is getting blasted with that direct heat but to me pellet grills and Kamado grills are a convection oven so I just like to go pure Texas, so okay. I'm, I'm an outlier, but yes, you're right. That's why people do it. So these are wrapped the same nice and tight in the, in the pretty Meat Church butcher paper. I know, I need to get some for the shop. You do. So I'm gonna put the meat side up brisket here, fat side up back there. We're gonna continue to roll this smoker at 250 degrees until they're done. Take them off to rest them and we'll see you on a little bit. 
Okay guys, these two briskets have been cooking about three and a half hours since they've been wrapped. Uh, we know they're about done. I'm gonna double check and we're gonna pull them and rest them. Good thing about this uh, Thermapen 1, it reads in one second, and these are 203 degrees. So they're done. We're gonna go give these about a two hour rest and we'll see y'all in the outdoor kitchen to check them out. These briskets have been resting at ambient temperature in the outdoor kitchen for about two and a half hours. So it's time to take a look. For sure. I mean, I, you know, I'm excited about this one because on this cook, I feel like this is gonna be pretty foreign to you. That My guest and your guy that has mentored at a Texas Monthly Top 5 barbecue joint, not just Top 50, and uh, I know this isn't the way you do it, but this has got to be, I'm assuming this is new to you. Yeah, your brisket's upside down. <laughs> like, that is the weirdest thing ever. Well, you know, and we should say, by the way, some of the briskets we're using were kind of small, so don't be too freaked out by this, but um, they're beautiful 44 Farms briskets, but you can see right off the bat, you can see the meat right here. You can see a major visual difference. It did bark up, but it doesn't have the black bark that this does. No, and you can see the jiggle here and no jiggle no there. No jiggle there. But this is really needed again. I know I said it earlier, but for the competition, correct? Like That's right. Yeah. And and I think you'll see that more when we slice it. But you're right. Like this is where you're, you know, you get the bark this way, you got the jiggle. Uh, we had to spritz this one during the cook cuz it dried out gotta a little bit. Got to protect it. Yeah, and we didn't have to do that with the uh, with the fat side up. Well, let's quit talking. Let's get to slicing and eating and and uh, and make our determination. Awesome. I'm gonna let you do the honors. Let's go. Cut us off a couple slices and let's talk about them just like in the last video. So here's the fatty right here. Or fat side fat up. Fat side up. Yep. And you definitely Man, see. That's juicy. Again, that juicy. It is. So let's give this one a, a look. Kind of going blind because typically you kind of have guidelines. So yeah. I'm gonna go about it's right here different. in the middle. Look at that pronounced smoke ring on that. Wow. That's why people do it. You're right. It's completely different. Yeah, this is interesting to me because people will see briskets on Instagram where they'll say, there's not even a smoke ring there, and they automatically think that this tastes better than that, and that's not necessarily the case. It's just because this was cooked meat side up and that was cooked fat side up. Yep, it's all because that fat is just a little harder for the smoke to, well, excuse me, for the smoke to penetrate. Penetrate the fat, yeah. So let's get a little slice of this fat side up. Man, it's just like, I know the camera can't see that. It's like Niagara Falls coming out of that. I might just show them. You're not supposed to squeeze your meat, but it's so fun. When you use those 44 farm briskets, it's a game yeah, changer. Yeah, they're super good. There we go. And they both look good. Look at that smoke ring. That's a crazy difference. Wow. Yeah. Look at the differences there. I mean, just like quarter inch smoke ring, completely pronounced. You can like lightly see it here. That is that is so crazy. So this is this is the reason why comp yeah. does Competition it. Competition presents well. Tuffy Stone told me once judges aren't supposed to judge a smoke ring, but it sure is hard to judge against a sexy ass smoke ring. Well, let's see how it tastes. That's what really matters here. So can we start off with the uh, fat side up? Yep. That was good. Well, we're used to. That's a Texas brisket, right? I just like the. Fat rendered on top with the seasoning and smoke. That's what made me fall in love with Texas barbecue. But this one almost is tender, but it's a little more firm on on the meat. The taste is I don't see a whole lot of taste difference, to be honest with you. But the um, you know, this top side, the uh, in the flat is more it's it's not tough, but no, it's, it's tender, but almost more of a chew. Yes, where this one just eats easier, but this still tastes amazing. Like, tastes really good. So I don't know. We have a conclusion. It's just a different way to do it. I mean, I know what I prefer, but I know why people do this. But so, excuse me. I know it's full, but if somebody's dealing with a lot of heat, like a lot of direct heat. Does it really help? Like, is, is that just a myth with the fat protecting it? I mean, or, we won't have to do a video where we're cooking this on a pellet grill versus an offset or okay. Kamado style grill or something like that. But man, they were both good. And they're pretty. For sure. Well, man, tell everybody where they can find you. Yeah, for sure. You can find us uh, on Brisket in Maine in Grand Prairie, Texas, at Zavala's Barbecue, and also <clears> at all <throat> social media sites at Zavala's Barbecue. 
Well, thanks for coming out, guys. If you uh, enjoyed this video, video, please like and subscribe. Next week, part three um, of our brisket series, which is gonna be the one you're all waiting on, the use of tallow in your smoke. Does it help? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna taste it and find out. So thanks for uh, watching, guys. We'll see y'all next time.